Askofu mkuu wetu James Obunde na viongozi wote wa Church of God ambao mko nao hapa siku ya leo Mheshimiwa Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Dr. William Samoi Ruto viongozi wenzangu wote ambao wamepata nafasi ya kunena na pia wale ambao wamejiunga na sisi na waumini wote ambao wamefika hapa kwa hii siku ya maana sana hamjambo mirembe mirembe ya Yesu mirembe ya nyasae asante sana aseka miradi heko kwako umefanya kazi nzuri ili tukae na wewe siku ya leo kama kiongozi wa hapa ili tuabudu tukiwemo na rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya mimi sitaongea kwa muda mrefu kwa sababu nataka tumsikize sana rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya lakini niko na maswali tu swali langu la kwanza ni kwa nyinyi watu wa eneo ya magharibi Yesu alikuwa na disciples wangapi Alikuwa na disciples wangapi? 12. Kuna mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Thomas. Sasa askofu na wenzangu. Nimeuliza swali hilo kwa makini sana kwa sababu kwa Biblia hatukoambiwa kama mtu alikuwa wa kabila gani? Lakini saa zingine mimi najiuliza inaonekana tukizungumza na waluya labda huyu Thomas alikuwa muluya. Kwa sababu mambo mengi yakifanyika yakitendeka ukitaka ujue who will always inquire kwamba ni gadoto ni gadieri garigario na gidi gari ule mtu ana hii swali ni muluya sisi tunaona kwamba taifa la Kenya linabadilika tunaona kwamba yule amechaguliwa kama rais wa Kenya ni mheshimiwa William Ruto mheshimiwa Ru- William Ruto ameweka siasa mbali amekuja pamoja na mheshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga His biggest competitor Raila Amolo Odinga Sasa amekuja sasa ndio William Ruto ametembea bara la Afrika nzima anasema Raila Odinga ana ujuzi na uwezo wa kusaidia Afrika They have come together They are uniting us. Lakini bado tunasikia watu wanauliza ni gadoto. Ni gagiri gari. Mimi nataka niwaambie we have moved on. Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya is not about vindictiveness. He has to reach out to everybody. Awalete karibu. Tukae pamoja kama taifa. Let us in Western Kenya stop being the doubting Thomas. Let us see what is happening. Let us move forward. Let us unite and rally the country of Kenya behind William Samoe Ruto. Hilo ndio ombi langu. Jambo la pili. Nataka ni wasihi. Tuheshimu katiba, tuheshimu sheria. Na tusi, tu, tusi angazie siasa za blackmail.
and Mweshimu, that where somebody is wayward, parliament can also defend so that leaders can be humble, they can show humility, can show respect, and they can be a unifying factor. Na Mweshimu, William Ruto, Joanna Tuongoza Pale. Tunakushkuru uliweka ascent kwa sheria ya sukari. It is so important because tumekuwa tukizumuza but without the proper legal framework hatunge faulu. Now we have the proper legal framework. And I also thank the legislators who are here. Mimi nataka niwaambie tusonge mbele taifa liwe moja without unity there will be no stability. And it is with stability that we'll build the country. Na Mwishmua Rais, you are showing the way. It is not easy. Those Goliath elements, ambazo James Obunda mezumuza, ni wengi. Ya uchumi, ya ukora, ya uhalifu, vile wanenajo metaja hapa, there are very many Goliaths, but it needs resolve, it needs solidarity, it needs cohesion. Ndiyo tupambane na haya maneno. Kwa hivyo, mimi nimemaliza. Je, na wauliza. Thomas, halikuwa muluya. Aya, nani hata tupatia wimbo? Kuna kijana aliimba pale na wimbo mzuri sana. There's a young people who sang na mtu alikuwa na sauti hapo alianzisha wimbo. Eh? Ininga. Na kuna wengine pia. Ininga na there was somebody. Aya, hata kama huyo hayuko ininga ingia. <laughs>